Hey, it's Moi Wagwan. I'm so excited for this word. This message is titled Ziba's Lie. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Welcome to my channel. There are people who lost interest in you, not because of something you did, but because of a lie someone said. There are opportunities that passed you, not because you did not qualify, but because of a lie someone said. Don't worry. God is going to reveal the Zebas in your life. The same person that believed the lie will be the same person to reveal it back to you. Don't you worry. Don't you fret. God will remove every single Zeba. He will remove their evil motives towards you. You may wonder, who or what is a Zeba? Zeba in the Bible, 2 Samuel chapter 16, he was a servant that lied to King David. He falsely claimed that Miss Fibboseth, who had a walking disability, betrayed King David. He defamed him as being an ingrate that wanted to take back his grandfather's kingdom after David was so good to him. King David, in a vulnerable state at the time, hastily and naively, and without any sort of investigation or discernment, believed Ziba. Like, how could David believe such an egregious lie? Listen, some people are quick to believe lies and rumors over truth. As a result, some people will never get to know you because they got to know a lie about you first and believed it. Let me put this into perspective. Ziba can be a man or a woman. Ziba gives the false impression of being a credible source because he or she can be a family member, a close friend, or co-worker that you don't know is jealous of you or just bad mind. <laughs> Ziba takes advantage of your weaknesses to use it against you. Ziba is a deceptive person that tells lies to the fame of person with the intention of stealing their blessings or inheritance. God will expose the Ziba to you and everyone and turn their lives back on them. They intended evil towards you. Evil will go back on them. They intended destruction towards you. Destruction will fall back on them. They wanted to hurt you. Hurt will fall back on them. They wanted to rob the blessings that you earned from God. Curse will fall back on them. God said to tell you, Ziba will not win. The Bible also states in Isaiah 54, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue, not some tongue, every tongue, including Ziba's tongue, is condemned. Ziba's lie may have hurt you for a season, but God said today I will vindicate you. I find no fault in you. Ziba, your time is up. Repent and confess else you'll be overthrown like Pharaoh. God is not mocked. When Ziba lied on you and tried to defame you, he was trying to take away God's glory. Ziba was trying to take away your testimonies, but God said the testimonies must come forth. My name will be glorified through you and your testimony. Ziba's time is up. You suffered long enough. You're not going back to Lodabar. You came out and you're staying out. The Zebas in your life want what's meant for you. Zebas are destiny stealers. But one thing about God is, if you weren't called into something, don't try to force yourself into it. It will destroy you, just like the man who lied to King David that he killed Saul and ended up dying because of it. That's why Zebas only prosper for a while. But eventually, it becomes a sneer to them. Zebas are jealous people. Even if you have less than them, they will still be jealous of you. If you have more than them and you're kind enough to even share it with them like Miss Fibboset did, they want everything for themselves. You ever wonder why people that have more than you are jealous of you? They could have a better car, a house, a higher education, but still are jealous of you? Well, some people are jealous of you, not because of what you have. They are jealous of your potential. They see the potential in you. You have the potential to surpass them. And some people hate to see someone that was beneath them or even beside them rise above them. Throughout Miss Fibboseth's life, he was beneath Ziba until David came and add order to Miss Fibboseth's life. Everyone knew that Miss Fibboset was the former King Saul grandson, but I guess because he was disabled, nobody cared for him. He was stuck in Lodabar 
receiving treatment worse than a peasant. Some people don't care about you until they see God trying to elevate you. They don't care about you until they see things happening for you. And the moment they feel that you're no longer beneath them, they are the first to fight against you, to step on you, are the first to try and pull you down. That's Aziva. Like, how can you look at someone who is already at a disadvantage and try to discourage, persecute, and fight against them? Zebas are heartless. Zebas are selfish. The Zebas of this world will step on anybody to get to where they need to go to, and they have zero empathy. God is going to bring order to your life. And when God intervenes, no one can stop the hands of God. If God says blessings, you will be blessed. If God said elevation, you will be elevated. If God said you are loose, you will be set free. If God said you are healed, you will be healed. If God said he's given you wisdom, you will have wisdom. No Zeba can stand in the way of God's plans. At that time, David lacked wisdom and the ability to discern because of sin. When Solomon, his son, truly served God and had his heart towards God, not even an evil mother could have deceived him. In 1 Kings chapter 3, 16 through 28, he knew the right questions to ask and the right things to do to expose a liar and reveal the truth. He knew who the mother of the child was. The next time Ziba tries to lie on your name, God will give the person being lied to the wisdom of Solomon. Ziba will not win. Ziba will be punished. Some of you would have been married a long time, but Ziba told a lie. God is going to reverse Ziba's lies. Some people would have been blessed a long time, but just like King David, they believed Ziba and allowed a jealous person to convince them out of their blessings. When Ziba lie, there are several parties that are affected. First, the one who is listening and believing the lie. Second, the one who is being lied on. Only Ziba stands to benefit from such a relationship in the short term. It could be for money or they might tarnish your image to make you look bad. So they won't be the only ones with a bad reputation. Remember, misery loves company. Miss Pibblesett would have been loyal to King David, just like how his father Jonathan was loyal to him. Miss Pibblesett loved David, that even when David tried to restore only half of the kingdom and inheritance to him, in 2 Samuel chapter 19, verse 30, he said, Ziba can have it all. He does not care. David's own son had launched an insurrection against him. He could have killed him. Therefore, David needed loyal people, not another deceiver or a fake snitch like Ziba pretending to care for his well-being. Don't worry. God will give you Solomon's wisdom to see the lie. The blessing is still waiting for you. In fact, the blessing is ready for you to get in line, to get in position to obtain it. It is unreserved with your name on it. No one can take it. The blessing of the Lord, which make rich and added no sorrow to it. Every destiny helper will relocate to you. They will find you and not hesitate to help you. You are blessed by God. You are so blessed. That is why you get so much attacks. But God said no more. I have blessed you and will place a hedge of protection around you. Blessed you will be lying down. Blessed you will be rising up. Deuteronomy chapter 28 will be evident in your life. Now keep God's commandments and stay blessed. God richly bless you. If you are not baptized or saved, I encourage you to get to know God. Find a church, get baptized, build a personal relationship with God because you cannot rely on your pastor to have that relationship with God. It's up to you. So have that personal relationship just in case anybody decides to turn away from God. You're not turning away from God too. You're not falling into any trap. Keep God close to you. Love God serve him if you don't know him yet as your lord and savior i encourage you to not hesitate trust me i have a testimony and that hesitation period is never good so you want to make sure if god calls you do not find any excuse whatsoever run to god i thank you so much all for your support and thank you for staying till the end of the video god bless you bye for now Mwah.